It's the bow to the wild, creeping and crawling, Yiggy yes yolin', Snoop Doggy Dog in the house with the pound like every day, and I'm right back up in you with Dr. Dre, and like I said, none of y'all can get with this, and none of y'all can get with that. How y'all doing today? I prepared a little, uh, a little poem that I wrote. Got this picture of me and Stan. I keep it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> You know, a lot of my people were scared, like, you know, why you representing him, man? Why you standing up for him? I'm like, you know what? I feel him. I feel like we're the same kind of people, so I felt like he didn't have a voice, so I wanted to put a voice on him and give him a voice so he could be heard. And that's why I got involved. <laughs> this piece right here I wrote, it's called Until We Meet Again. When we first met, your seed of peace was planted. Through me, I tried to highlight and make sure your clemency would be granted. I used to bang, but I didn't know what I banged for. They say my words could stop off, drop off, or potentially pop off a gang war. Food for thought is better than a meal. Until we meet again, I'ma stay real in the field. Until we meet again, I will better my oratoricals. Until we meet again, I will pass on your editorials. And through time, I will build my architectural mind and continue to let this little light of mine shine, shine, shine. Love is love, and true teachers educate. Until we meet again, I pledge to elevate. All my little sisters, brothers, black, brown, white, left, wrong, or right, and through your passing, we will celebrate your life. Not in a negative way, because I understand no matter how right you do, to them, to me, to you, it ain't easy being a black man. And I had to stop and ask myself, why was I connected with this brother? As I look in the mirror, I soon discovered how connected we really are. I mean, we really is. We started off wrong, learned to do right, changed our life for the love and the life of kids. I finally had somebody I could call an advisor, a little bit sharper, older, righteous, and wiser. You touch so many people, Stan, and I'm just one of the few. And I thank G.O.D. up above that I had the pleasure to fellowship with you. Now, I wanted to start some ruckus when the governor made his decision. Was it based on politics, race, or religion? For the state of the youth, I managed to stay sang fra. That's a word Stan taught me. That's calm under pressure for those unaware. Until we meet again, this wasn't the way it was supposed to end. Our last conversation, they had cameras on me, so I tried to pretend and hold it all in. It's 9.15 on 12.13, and another black king will be taken from the scene. But only God can judge you, Stan, and man to man. I know, now I know, so I'll proceed with the program. We talked about doing books in the visit. I told you the concept, and I could tell you could dig it. How could you stand with him, Snoop Dogg? What about the crimes he committed? I forgive and forget it. If you're black like me, you're guilty to proven innocent. And furthermore, I don't believe Stan did it. So, so I'm sitting around and a couple of hours pass, my heart beating fast as they execute the teacher. Now who's gonna teach the class? It's 11.35, my face is stoned, I'm in a zone, driving home, 
praying all alone. I make it home, kiss my kids, and I hug my wife. And I ask God one more time, please spare Stanley Tookie Williams' life. It's 12.13, 12.35, and I shed a tear because you were so dear to me. Until we, made it, until we meet again. Until we meet again, I promise the whole world will know Stanley Tookie Williams. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Until we meet again.